just delivered the TV an hour ago, and Kelly, this thing is so gigantic, it's ridiculous. I, I mean, the instruction book is bigger than our old TV. <laughs> oh, oh, let me go. Doug's home. Okay, bye. Oh, yeah? Well, for your information, these are official company issue. Doug. No, no, you shut up. Doug. What? He's making fun of my shorts again. <laughs> He's five. Be the bigger man. Just frustrating, you know? He's so well-dressed, I can't come back at him with anything. <laughs> hey, what are you doing home from work? Well, my boss was trying a case in Jersey, so I snuck out early. Come on, come on. I have a huge surprise for you. You're pregnant. Yes! No! Thank God! Would you stop? <laughs> There's something in the basement for you. What? Oh, something I arranged to have delivered today three days early. You're not the, you're not, you know, I mean, in the, uh, that's correct. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> and I know in time you learn to love me too. Oh man, I gotta call the guys. I already did, on their way. You called them? Yep. You are the best mail order bride ever! <laughs> so that's it, cutie. Your cave is complete. Yeah, I just love it down here, you know? It's like someone stuffed some shag carpet and a foosball table into my mother's womb. <laughs> Ow. Duck! Duck, duck! You got the TV? Yeah, it's down here! <laughs> <laughs> Your friends are here. I can't feel my legs. Damn, that's a nice TV. Tell you, Douglas, that bank is stealing my money. For the last time, it's a service charge. Get in the car. Thieves! It's a dollar. Let it go. Can you give me a second, please? No, I know, you gotta wait one sec, okay? Try it now? No, no, not yet. Every time. No. No, not yet. When you keep doing no. it, one sec. No. 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 You know what? No. Sit down no. the car. No. I'll come around and let you in. <laughs> Morning, Dad. Morning. Guess what I made? <laughs> like old times, huh? You? Me? Toast? Yeah, we were inseparable. So, darling, you wait here. I'll go butter this up for you real nice. Give me 15 minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dad. I cannot be late for work. I'm new there, remember? Oh. Miss Big Deal Legal Secretary works in Manhattan now. You know what toast costs over there now? Ten dollars. <laughs> and if you don't tip, they spit in it. Then I'll tip. We're just gonna have some coffee. Hey, Slugger, check it out. What's that? Junior Mitt, I broke it in for the uh, softball game tonight. Actually, it uh, happened by accident. I uh, fell asleep on it. Honey, you're gonna kill me. I can't make it. My boss has a really big trial coming up, and he wants me to stay late tonight. No, no, we need you at the game. Come on, none of the guys can curse as good as you. I know, but I will be at next week's game with a lot of new mother references. Really hurtful, uncalled for stuff, all right? Okay. All right. Right. Bye, Daddy. Dad? Oh, sorry. I was just remembering a little girl with pigtails and braces on her teeth telling me I made the best of toast ever. Oh, just give me the freaking toast. Okay? Thank you. bag. You know, I want popcorn with this movie. Calm down. This is what I do. <laughs> no. It's just gotta be ready. It's gotta be ready. Easy, 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 easy. Okay. Easy, easy. Okay, go, 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 go. Go. Enjoy. That 
is beautiful in so many ways. Shut up. Hey, happy anniversary. Mm. Mm. Happy anniversary, baby. Oh, man, I want to take you right here with Betty Crocker watching. <laughs> Come on, honey, I got to get this ready. People are going to be here at 2, and it's already like 20 of. Like 20 of? I think a certain person's anniversary gift can tell us the exact time. <laughs> 137. <laughs> Isn't it great? Look at that. It's a ring. It's a watch. It's a ring. It's a watch. Are you done now? Ring watch. Honey, stop. Now, come on, make yourself useful. Go get me the champagne flutes from the armoire. Okay, skinny glasses, big cabinet. All right, I got that. <laughs> so, what do you think? Okay. <laughs> I wanted to do something special for the party, so I thought I'd go nautical. <laughs> Well, you nailed it, Dad. This is the guest list? Yes, Dad. Joe Garver? You invited Joe Garver? Yes, Dad. After what that son of a bitch did to me at your wedding? Three deviled eggs left on a tray. How many does he take? How many? Three, that selfish bastard. That's right. Well, the day of reckoning has come. Payback time is here! OK, Dad, listen to me. This is our anniversary, okay? We want it to be a very special day. So do you think you could find it in your heart not to punch or strangle any of our guests? Of course, anything for my baby. Thank you. Unless that garver pulls more of that devil deck crap, and then all bets are off! Morning, Dad. Morning. Where'd you get the Wall Street Journal? Huh? Oh, from the, what do you call it? The... The neighbor's porch? Right. You stole their newspaper? I did not steal it. It is a well-known principle of common law that any newspaper not taken inside by 7.30 a.m. is free game. It's, um, 7.15. Ah, they're dead asleep, I checked. Okay, hon. All right, then I'll see you around 10. All right, bye-bye. Listen, uh, Carrie's not gonna make it home for dinner, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna order her some pizza. From where? From Sal's. Sal's, have you lost your mind? <laughs> okay, not Sal's, then from where? A little neighborhood joint called Domino's. <laughs> Domino's? <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, what's the number? It's 1718 Look, I have way too many numbers, okay? I gave you the area code. We're in the area code. I don't need to dial it. Okay, ready? I'm, I'm ready. 1168. Okay, you know what? How about a little phone number rhythm, huh? You know, a little bum bum ba, bum ba, bum ba. Got it? I got it. Okay. One. Yeah. Six. Yep. Teen. <laughs> I already dialed the six. I can't go back in time and slip a one in. Well, whose fault is that? <laughs> I I'll make it a sandwich. Why don't you order from uh, McDonald's? <laughs> Oh, honey, Soul Train, leave it, leave it. Come on, you want to dance? Come on, Carrie, I dance for a living. Let me enjoy my day off, huh? But they're playing Boogie Oogie Oogie. This is our song. <laughs> it is? You don't remember in junior high at Kim Ionello's birthday party, the song was on and you asked me to dance. Yeah, and you said no. I was shy. You gave me the finger. All right, I was doing that to everybody back then. Come on. Boogie Oogie Oogie, baby. All right, keep up if you can. All right.
You want to watch Sports Center? Yeah. <laughs> I can't circle anymore. Somebody leave! I think that I think that guy's putting a bag in his car. Oh, is he getting out? No, let me ask. Let me ask. Are, are you numbing out? Can, can we? Yeah, can we get in there? Can we get it? Hey, he's waving me off. Ah! He had his keys out and everything. He had leaving the spot body language. Keys! <laughs> hey, look! Way up there, a space. Oh. Going for it. Oh, no, the, the Lincoln's taking it. Oh, she ain't there yet, baby. Hey, God, this is a one way. You're going the wrong way down a one way here. Uh, baby, it's your way back. <laughs> Whoa, what a rush. Let's shot. It's my favorite Christmas song. Can't stand the way that Alvin always comes in late. That's what's funny about it. Not funny. It's disrespectful to the other jet box. <laughs> hey! You know I have to die someday, but I'm gonna be really pissed off if it's today because of this. <laughs> Great. Something wrong with the car. Oh, really? You think so, Mr. Goodwrench? Oh, look, this thing stalled again. Uh, it's probably one of those stupid belts. I'll take a look at it now. Doc, what are you doing? We're on the expressway. You're gonna get yourself killed. Relax. I got the hazards on, okay? Ah! I'm okay. I'm fine. I just pull my cap off. Okay. You know, it really is disrespectful to the other chipmunks. You're preaching to the choir, Dad. <laughs> OK, I can fix this. I just need the screwdriver in the glove compartment. Not in here. <laughs> what? I can't believe this. I, I know it's here, so I keep it in here. OK, it's not here. Told you. <laughs> Where could it be? Did you lose it, Arthur? Pardon me, I did not lose your precious screwdriver. It's on my bed. <laughs> I needed it to pry open some paint cans. What were you painting? Nothing. I found the cans in the basement, and I wanted to see the difference between Navajo white and eggshell white. Unbelievable. <laughs> well, excuse me for being consumed with boredom. <laughs> You're a very hard man to please, Heffernan. <laughs> Oi, could you pick seats any further back? It looked like it was filling up. I, I panicked. Lewis! No, Lewis! Get over here! And you couldn't spot trouble with this one over here, right? <laughs> Look, if I can watch a movie about three divorced women who drive across Canada, you can deal with the seats. All right. Can I my glasses, please? <clears throat> yeah. Hey, little Lewis! Yeah, Mimi said she'll see you after the movie. After the movie! Yeah, Mimi! You know what? <laughs> what? Shut your milk dead hole. We shall go with children. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? Mm hmm He's got a kernel stuck on that little, like, punching bag mm, thing. Yeah. <coughs> there it goes. Arthur, will you come away from the window already? The new neighbors are moving in. Just want to get a look at them. 
Oh, yeah, there they are. Gay couple. <laughs> Big, strapping fellas. Those are the movers. <laughs> Gay movers, huh? Everybody's got a gimmick these days. You reading that? Yes, that's why I'm holding it up to my face. <laughs> Sorry, carry on. <laughs> Not gonna work, okay? Here you go. Just take this, all right? Funniest, huh? Haven't read these in 40 years. Well, let's just see what the cats and jammy kids are up to. Hey, good humor, Chuck. Doug, you're eating ice cream. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. And the stuff you bought is pretty good, too. This uh, healthy selection. <laughs> Just the name alone makes you want to... It's good. It's good. Would you like a good humor? No, no, no. I'm fine with my frozen soy treat. <laughs> if they have a picture of a guy jogging. Yum. <laughs> Woo-hoo! Yee-haw! Gonna get me a bomb pop! Yeah! Just go. Arthur, wait up! Should I get that? No, let the machine get it. Hello. You've reached the home of Doug, Carey, and yours truly, Arthur. If this is Herb, I already left for the movie. Don't bring any of those crummy sandwiches, because I got chicken. <laughs> I'll meet you in the theater in the front row. That's right, you heard me, the front row. Didn't think I'd have the nugs to stand up to you, did you? Well, I'm not going to be your whipping boy anymore. It's a new day, my friend, so you better get used to it. <laughs> Anyone else, please leave a message. Stanley, use the dog door. God, you're stupid. <laughs> right, I'm gonna show you one more time, okay? <sighs> Look, you just go right through, okay? Right through here, right through. Go, fiend! <laughs> Nothing at all, huh? All right, watch me, watch me and learn. Ooh, it's nice out here. I want to go out. I, I want to go out. I want to go out. All I right, hold your horses. Let me grab my coat. <laughs> Douglas, if you have a moment, I've written a letter, and I'd like your thoughts. I almost went to White Castle. Yeah. <laughs> Dear sir or madam, recently I purchased a tube of your so-called soothing ointment to combat a particularly stubborn rash that I contracted through no fault of my own. Upon using said product, not only did I fail to find relief, but the area is now completely inflamed and periodically erupting. See photo A. To remove all uncertainty from the matter, I conducted a controlled experiment using an acquaintance of mine named Bernard. See photo B. Bernard is the squatting fellow on the left. Please review this material and advise me post haste. Sincerely, A. Spooner. What do you think? It's delightful. <laughs> Thank you. You can keep those photos. I have better angles. but Jimmy Smith is in it. That's all I need to know. Ah, so you like your Jimmy, do you? Honey, I love you more than anyone in the world, but if I actually had a shot at him, I'd have to shove you in front of a butt. Okay, fair enough. So, uh, do I get one? From what? <clears throat> a fantasy person. You know, it's like we each get to pick that one person on the planet that if, by some crazy fluke, we actually got a chance to be with them, 
The other just has to grin and let it happen. All right, I like it. So you're going with Jimmy? All right, give me a second, will you? It's a big planet, I don't want to blow it. Okay, do the Baldwin brothers count as one? No. Okay. Um, Mel Gibson. You sure? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. You can't go wrong with Mel. Okay. All right, who's yours? <clears throat> um, Julia Roberts. Nah. I think I'm just gonna go with that girl that does your nails. Good night. <laughs> sitting over here today. Why? I don't know. I never sit here. It's a new perspective. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> okay, enough. Could you just come sit over here? I want to stay here. I like it. I got a new seat. Okay, fine. <clears throat> ah, this is nice. You can be so petty sometimes. <laughs> to moving? <laughs> Sorry, pal, I takes my time. Dad, Doug and I are going to Deacon and Kelly's. I left some dinner for you in the fridge, okay? Fine. You ready, babe? Just one more move, if he ever decides to move. Keep your shirt on. Let's go. <laughs> 